What's up guys, John here and welcome back to John Moon Studios. In today's video, we're going to talk about MIDI CC curves and how you can smooth out your automation. So let's get right to it. So I've been getting a lot of questions about MIDI CC curves and how you can smooth out the edges so you can get a nice fade in and fade out with your MIDI CC. So let's go ahead and check those out. So if I open up my window where I have the MIDI region and then I open up where I have the MIDI CC, I can, so let me show you how to do that here. So you can hit this plus sign and then I have two MIDI CC parameters that I'm paying attention to. It's modulation and expression. So I'm just gonna go first to expression. And notice how here you see a smooth curve up and down because I'm using a MIDI controller. And in this case, it's my keyboard, the Nectar Impact LX88+. Plus. If you wanna see a review on this keyboard, I'm gonna go ahead and link this up on the top right corner of the video. So the way, again, I got this curve is by using the little fader control that I have on the keyboard itself to automate this. And notice how smooth it is going up and down and then kind of fading in and then fading out at the end. But let's say you don't have such a controller or you don't like using it and you like drawing it in with pencil. I'm gonna show you how to create smooth curves with your mouse and create these ramps so that you're able to create your, a very smooth MIDI CC curve. So I'm just gonna go ahead and actually delete all of this. And there's an easier way to do it. I just took the longer way. So let me actually undo and show you the easier way. If you go to this and you right click and then go to where it says select all events on lane, then then just hit delete. You see that you're not going to miss any of the points there. So that's just a little bonus tip. Now let's go ahead and draw our curves. So we're gonna grab our pencil tool and we're gonna start drawing in our dots. So let's say I want the MIDI CC curve to start here. I like to start it before the sample so that Cubase has time to read the MIDI sample and there's not like a jump in volume because let's say you left it loud over here, you jump over here, you gotta give the MIDI CC time to read the curve because if you put it right on here, then it's probably gonna jump in volume and then go right back down. So always do it a few bars or beats before the actual note starts so that you can get a very smooth entrance. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this because of course the MIDI CC at the bottom position means that it's going to be softer or quieter or even no dynamic at all. It will be silent. So now I'm gonna draw the second dot right here cause I want it to fade into bar one and I'm going to raise this. Now notice what happens here. We don't get a straight line or a straight curve kind of like we did before. So if we look at this graph up here, it still has the MIDI CC data for my modulation. So you can see that the curve is very nice and uniform going up. But when I draw with the pencil tool, it doesn't do the same thing. So the way that we achieve this same ramping effect is if you don't see this little dot here, this little dot is gonna allow you to create these curves. If you don't see it, and at first I didn't see it either until I switched this one setting. If I hit this down arrow here and go to where it says type of new controller and do a ramp instead of a step. So what this does is when you change it to a ramp, it's gonna automatically create a ramp or allow you to see this dot so that you can go ahead and draw in a smooth curve. Now, once you do that, it probably won't show up right away. So what you have to do is delete the curve first and then redraw your dots with the ramp already engaged. And you should see that even now with that ramp engaged, I can go ahead and create some kind of a smooth ramp. And then you'll see this dot appear so that you can now create some very expressive MIDI CC data. Same thing goes for the end. So let's say I wanna fade out in the end. I just draw my two dots bring it down, of course, let's put it right at the end of the note, and then I'm gonna do a natural kind of ending here. So again, I like to use a upward curve because it gives a more natural ending than a linear curve. No one really just fades out in a linear way. So I like adding a little bit of a curve so that it is more natural sounding with these samples. Again, this is super important because with MIDI, you wanna make sure you get a realistic performance even though the instruments itself are recorded by real people, it can still sound very synthetic 
very synthy if you don't add this expression in there. And doing this with your MIDI CC data is very important to get the most realistic performance. So another way that you can do this is if let's say you draw a dot, you can go here and click on the dot and you're gonna see this little information bar pop up. And here you can actually choose your step or ramp and curve as well. So on top of doing it here, you can also go ahead and switch the curve here. But again, you need to have some kind of MIDI information available here already, some kind of automation data so that you can click on it and then engage what kind of uh, curve type you want. A step meaning that you're gonna have these 90 degrees kind of blocks and then the ramp curve, of course, so you can get a smooth entrance and a smooth fade out. If you have any questions throughout the video, just go ahead and drop your comments down below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the ring button so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. Also, don't forget to check out the John Moon Studios store. I have a variety of merch with the official John Moon Studios logo on it. So go ahead and check it out. And as always, don't forget to share with your musician friends. I'll see you guys soon.